centre where the water conference is, of course, taking place. And now my second guest, let's welcome the Honourable Minister Shaw Khati, who is the Minister of Youth, Sport and Culture in Botswana. Minister, thank you so much for your time and welcome to AM News. Minister, basically, tell us about your speech. There's very interesting things that you said in your speech. Please, wow our audience. Well, first, maybe let me explain that I'm here in two capacities. First, as the minister responsible for sport in Botswana, as a delegate, and secondly, as a foundation board member of a uh, World Anti-Doping Agency. And I requested, and I was, it was accepted that I should make an intervention. And in my intervention, all I highlighted was that cheating in sports is, 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 is equivalent to a corrupt practice because you're reaping the benefits that do not belong to you and we're looking for clean sport, clean athletes and we highlighted that we welcome the revised anti-doping code which we believe is going to be exercising a lot of measures to curtail cheating <coughs> sport, match fixing and all these deeds that go with uh, uh, bad practices in sport. Mm -hmm. I also indicated our role as Botswana in the area of anti-doping. You might have recently realized that Botswana is beginning to enter the global uh, sphere in terms of sport competition sure. where we are having some of our athletes, mm -hmm. top athletes in the world competitions. And we believe this is the time as they go in there to begin the public education and education program <coughs> in schools and right across the country mm. so that they don't they look at uh, they develop a zero tolerance to to, to doping mm. so this basically some of the points that i was saying and i also indicated that um, we are host to the we are host to the national anti-doping in our offices, we do support all these agencies. All right. Mm. Now, Minister, how widespread is the problem of uh, doping in Botswana? No, it's, it's, it's not there. Mm -hmm. And we believe we should nip the problem in the, at the, in the bud mm -hmm. right from the beginning. It's not there. We have not had incidents mm -hmm. of uh, uh, doping. Minister, how do your athletes keep uh, such a clean nose and record when everybody's uh, succumbing under the pressure to, to win or, you know, to enhance their performances with uh, using banned substances? Well, I guess I must credit the coaches mm -hmm. because at times, as the revised code is saying, it is going to impose a ban even on the accomplices, the coaches. Absolutely. So I guess our coaches and their company entourage mm -hmm. is well aware of the need they want to do clean sport. The other thing, it also might emanate from the fact that as Botswana, as you would know, we are, we are the least corrupt uh, country in Africa, True. Uh, 30 out of 140 something countries. And that is a culture that we have been cultivating amongst our people to say, don't get what doesn't belong to you it's all about in a morality corrupt as well. It's all yes. about morality. Mm, mm. It's all about morality. All right. Then, Minister, what is the ministry, uh, sport ministry going to do in Botswana to, to make sure that you sustain a clean record, especially for the, for the future sportsmen and women that are developing? On Tuesday last week, mm. I presented a revised sports bill mm. onto Parliament. We have taken care of enacting, including elements relating to doping, mm -hmm. where we want to legislate it to say it's an offense to dope. Mm -hmm. And that will show consistency with the revised, revised uh, doping code. Mm -hmm. And the other thing we are going to be engaging on, we'll engage and yes, with the Ministry of Education, the Ministry of Health, <coughs> to ensure, because it's, it's not only a sports matter is mm -hmm. also education is also health because drugs can damage one's health as well so Absolutely. we'll be taking a two three prong kind of approach mm -hmm. to deal with this issue all right and then minister tell us about the latest changes you've been speaking a lot about the latest changes and implementations that will be uh, happening to the doping code yeah. please tell us a bit more well the the the, the, 
the change that is very significant mm -hmm. is the suspension that will be imposed on those who are found to be doping. Mm -hmm. Four years. Uh, this they'll is be jail banned time. for four years. Or banned for four years. They will have no access to the team they will be training with mm -hmm. or any facility. And the other important one, which I like most, because I believe at times the innocent athletes are dragged into this thing because the coach has got pressure to want to win and will give a poor athlete a drink unknowingly containing <coughs> some banned some banned substances so the coaches or whoever is found to have assisted one to do will also get a ban for four years there is the issue of marijuana which has been increased uh, tenfold mm -hmm. the threshold for marijuana if it is found in you. I know it is most popular among some of our athletes, soccer yes, players and yes. some of our athletes. Mm -hmm. It's also included in there. The threshold has been increased. All right. So then, Minister, um, what? Uh, how effective are programs like WADA, especially in a country like uh, Botswana? We, you will, you might have heard that next year we'll be hosting the second African Youth Games in Gaburoni in May 2014. We have liaised with the regional uh, anti-doping office mm -hmm. in South Africa and the, the executive committee. We have told them that we want to use these games as a benchmark. Mm -hmm. We want to use it as an opportunity to be able to begin to spread the message, to catch them young, mm -hmm. spread the message of anti-doping whilst at this stage. So we believe that's a major thing which will cover the entire continent. And as I've said, I sit in the foundation board for WADA, mm -hmm. representing Africa together with the minister from Egypt and Seychelles. If you can Three just tell us, us your, your function there, uh, minister. We, we part of a we, we, policy we policy making body mm -hmm. that looks at issues relating to governance of issues relating to uh, anti-doping. Mm -hmm. So those are the issues that we deal with. So representing Africa, I have a responsibility to convey whatever policy decisions have been decided at the water level to my colleagues. So I'll be reporting to the African Union, mm -hmm. Council of Ministers responsible for sport, all the activities that have been happening and the decisions that are made. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much, Minister, Thank for your you time this morning. Well, that was Honorable Minister Shaw Khati, who is the Minister of Sport, Youth and Culture in Botswana. Don't go anywhere. Stay with Elvis, but I'll be back with more interviews right here from the Sentin Convention Center, where the wider conference is currently underway.